Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. First of all, there is uh, someone out here that is playing with a little bit too much voodoo and witchcraft for me. Someone went to a water deity to help them keep some type of relationship, to help them be seen in some type of majestic and wholesome light, but it's something that backfired. So last night I had a dream, a masculine came to me. This was someone's husband, uh, someone soon to be husband. Okay. He comes to me. I'm in my own little world in mermaid land. You know, I'm, I'm laying in bed and he comes to my room and I'm like, what is this man doing in my room? First of all, the both of them are hiding their faces. They don't want me to see who they are, but ener energetically, I know who they are in the spirit. Right? So he comes to my room and he'll say, here, let me show you my wife she's traditional okay and i'm like listen it's on the higher fence <laughs> source please don't be in here showing out today ancestors listen don't be don't be in this reading showing out i just started okay he's telling me that she's traditional because he wants me to reconsider what it is i think about her because i think there's someone's wife that's been showing up in these readings and the truth has been coming out about her but she's still trying to pretend to be someone in the upright so he's like let me show you my wife she's traditional he takes me to their bedroom mind you and i'm like this is just so weird but okay it is what it is so this is how you all roll he takes me to their bedroom they have this long king size bed they're one of those olympic size beds right and she's laying in the bed and there's a whole different merman going down on her and next to them is another mermaid another woman laying on there like like they're just doing the, it's like they were having some type of ugh, mingling going on i don't know if it was a couple's thing or he wasn't expecting that but it was just too much going on for me but I just remember after he told me that she was traditional and we walked in on that scene, he didn't say anything else. But I just remember there was a different species of a merman hooked on her doing, you know, doing his thing on her. And whatever that other merman was didn't even look like something she should be entertaining. It looked like something that was like demonic looking. So someone's wife may have some type of entity attached to them and this is why she's out here being reckless and things like that and this is a karma that she's gonna have to learn how to overcome this lifetime if she does not she's gonna incarnate being the same way until she overcomes that karma also symbolically what i'm thinking mer mermaids symbolically or mythologically they come from a time period that's no longer here right um, I know people say they've had sightings of, of, of mermaids and things like that, and I'm not discrediting them. There's a reason why we don't see them very often. They represent a different time period of our existence. But if, if, if I'm seeing a mermaid, this is letting me know that this man has been attached to this Jizzy Bell for a long time, a very, very long time. Okay, and you've been repeating this cycle with her where you are believing that she's wholesome, she's in the upright, she is traditional, and it keeps you stuck in your mind and in some type of contract with her. Like you're binded to an empress that's nothing but chaos. Okay, so you're living under some type of delusion, but you want people to believe that she's traditional because this is something she has made you believe she's convinced you that you, she is traditional now your eyes may be filling you your physical eyes spiritual eyes because it's that you're showing me uh, telling me that your wife is traditional and i'm seeing her in bed with like two other people and i'm like what the heck is going on like does he not see what i'm seeing but I, the, the dream just ended there but basically what i'm seeing is that you've been binding in some type of contract with this woman for multiple lifetimes and you are in denial that who you are with your your wife or whoever this is to you that maybe you're about to marry them they're not traditional i, I just remember you using that word she's traditional that woman is not traditional you're you're lying to yourself someone has manipulated you very well 
to keep some type of grasp on you, some type of hold on you. And they've been doing this for multiple lifetimes. This is not your full, your, 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 your first rodeo with this woman. Okay, so you're going to have to think about it. You know there's a tower coming. You already know something is about to end. So I don't know if it's you taking action to, to end some type of situation, some type of uh, marriage with this woman. But honey, we don't care what you all do in your relationship. And don't get on my platform getting mad because the truth is the truth. Listen, whatever what goes on in you rich folks' homes in your lives, who you choose to be with, who you don't choose to be with, is none of our business. But when you come in my dream trying to manipulate me, that's where I have a problem, okay? Because my spiritual eyes ain't going to tell me nothing else than the truth. Your, your partner is not traditional, okay? She is not traditional. She's out here giving offers. I'm telling you, offers to a lot of people. So you may want to open your eyes instead of trying to force other people to see the truth. Because also, I, I'm being told to tell you there's a man around you. I don't know if this is a friend of yours, like a king of swords. At some point, he's going to reveal the truth about your wife to you or whoever this is. That I don't know if you're married to them or you are like you have a child with them or you are intending to marry them. You see them as an empress. There's someone around you that has some type of proof of the types of activities your wife or your soon to be wife participates in and they'll expose that to you so you can know the truth okay anyways and that's going to put an end to this situation with you and her so i'm not even listen that just lets me know that there's a group of people watching my channel and you all are trying to force things to be about you which will also explain why there are people out here trying to tamper with my platform because you're forcing stories to resonate with you. You think everything is about you. And this is why when we get on here and do our reads, we're telling you not to force anything to resonate with you. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. Okay, let it go. But obviously there is something that I said that resonated with you and it touched you to the core of your soul. And something is not sitting right with you. This is why you are coming into my dreams to try to prove to me that someone is in the upright, that someone is traditional. She's not traditional. And I'm going to keep saying that someone has been putting themselves out to be traditional so that you can commit to them because you're somewhat possibly wealthy. Okay. It is what it is. This is this sister's energy. I don't know what you want us to do. Listen, stay out of my dreams. Like, stay out of my dreams. Okay. Stay out of my dreams, please. I don't care what goes on in your rich folks' homes. Your married home, couples' homes. Listen, look at you freeing yourself. I told you, when you decide to accept the truth for what it is, you're going to be putting an end to whatever commitment you are in with this woman. So I don't know, maybe you reached out to me so that I could expose the truth to you because there's something where it's like as soon as you question her about something or someone says something, she knows how to fix it. Like she has a, a quick return time right like you expose a lie she has one to cover it up someone says something or someone shows you something she has a way to cover it up and this is a cycle you've been stuck in for a long time but i see you for, uh, freeing yourself like you've been working tirelessly i guess to free yourself from this situation or you may be letting go of a position as well you could be a sagittarius uh with this uh temperance card out here you could be a sagittarius leo leo or aries i don't know but honey, whoever this woman is, and she keeps coming out again, you want people to see this woman as traditional. She's not traditional. Okay, this is someone that's breadcrumbing you. And this chapter with you and her are going to be over. There's something that's going to be exposed to you that's going to, that's going to have you like stuck in your mind for a long time. Like you don't want to see the truth about your partner. And I'm telling you, sir, 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 it's going to have you stuck in your mind. There's something that's going to be said. Like, I don't know if this is, this is, this is already going on. Like something has been exposed to you about the person that you are with or the person you are about to commit to. Okay. And it has you stuck in your mind. Okay. So I don't know what to tell you, but you're going to have to go within and do some, some type of introspection, uh, so that you can decide what it is you want to do. But I see you 
uh, freeing yourself from some type of bondage, which means I'm telling you, you're free, freeing yourself from some type of bondage. There's something you've been working really hard to do as well. I don't know if you've been working really hard to trap someone else and someone else. Maybe you are pissed off at another feminine energy and it's all based on some type of misconception. What I think it is, is that maybe you got on someone's platform, like a tarot reader or a practitioner's platform or something like that. And you thought they were talking about you and it pissed you off. So you started doing things to temper with their energy and things like that. You so, you are someone that's meant to be in the upright. Like you started off in the upright, but you may have done something that had you fall from grace. And now you're trying to work your way back up to be in your actual energy. So I don't know what you committed yourself to, but it looks like you're putting an end to it. You don't want to work against someone anymore, or you don't want to be in an institution anymore. You don't want to be committed to someone anymore. You're freeing yourself from toxicity. Maybe you were committed to trapping someone. You were going to come to someone's energy and give them some type of false offer just so they can be trapped in some type of nonsense with you and your partner. I don't know what this is, okay? Because the fact that one in the dream i'm in my room and then you come in my room and you take me from my room to her room that lets me know that maybe your initial intentions were to come into another woman's energy and mislead them so that they could get in a union with you only for you to end up trapping them in some type of three-way situation that don't work that way that's the easiest way to get on the wrong side of the universe because you're in, you're tempering with someone's energy. I think now that you know the truth, maybe you genuinely want to work with someone, want to be with, I don't know what it is, be with someone, work with someone, invest in someone or have someone invest in you. But you've been out here investing in ending someone else's path. And you don't even understand why it is you're doing what it is you're doing. It's like something was said. I don't know if you're someone that's easily triggered. But it says something was said that had nothing to do with you because you have to remember when you get on these platforms to watch these people, they don't know you. And a lot of the times, even if they know you, they're not worried about you. They don't care what you have going on in your life. But uh, time to time, things may come up in readings and it may resonate with you. And some of these readers, like we're so like on the mark with our readings, people think that they are personal readings. They're not personal readings. We're just giving you our download. That's it. Like what we see in our dreams, what we see in our visions, the flashes that we have, we're just telling you about those. And maybe something in those stories resonate with you, but it does not mean that you mean that you make it personal then and try to attack whoever it is that's giving the reading. They don't know you. And even again, if they knew you, the terror readers, the practitioners that are in the upright, I promise you, none of them are going out of their way to look into your energy, to get your story, and then come on social media and put it out there. I know I don't care. Like, I have people that I work with, and, you know, I have family, like everybody else, I have family members, co-workers, and things like that, but I'm not interested in their lives. That's their business. That when I sit across from people, I want my interaction with them to be genuine. So the whole notion of me going out of my way to do a reading on them to see what's going on in their lives, if they are genuine, if they're lying, that's none of, that's not my intention. Now, for transparency, when you're talking to me, obviously I'm going to know if you're lying to me or not, but I'm not going to be disrespectful about it. You and I can have a conversation, one-on-one -on -one conversation. Uh, but as far as me coming out and be loud and, you know, just out there with it with, no, 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 no. And then for me to come online as well and put your business out there like that. No, 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 no. You and I are going to have a conversation. I'm going to talk to you like you're human. You're going to talk to me like I'm human, but social media is not the place for your, for your uh, personal information. So if you got online and you heard something from a reader, which I'm sure a lot of people go through this, a lot of readers go through this. Where people get on our platforms, they watch our videos, listen to our videos, and then they get offended because they think, oh, because I'm friends with her, that's why she's saying that she's putting my business out there. It's like, no, you got, like, they're getting their reads from the cars and whatever source is feeding, feeding them, okay? It don't have anything to do with you. I promise you, people that are genuinely into spirituality, the last thing they ever want to do is invade anyone's privacy because that's like against the very essence of what it is they're doing. And this is why I, we keep telling you all, 
take what applies and leave what does not because it's not intentionally being given to you. Maybe you relate to it. That's all. Okay. You, but, um, from what I'm seeing, you're going to be putting an end to this chapter. So there's something where it's that you were committed to something very toxic, very karmic, or maybe this is how you've been for a long time. And now you are starting to balance yourself out. You may want to have some type of attunement with someone. Uh, maybe you've been trying to cause blockages in someone's life and things like that. Like you, you, you're coming out of some type of mind state of mind. That's not healthy for you. You could have been out here trying to manifest some type of defeat, some type of ending, uh, some type of distress, trying to steal or take what belongs to someone else. That's not going to lead to anything good for you. Like you are headed down a path that's not like going to be fruitful it's going to be like a poor return on investment i don't know if there's something about your ego but you need to free yourself from that like you're going to go through some type of uh, death uh some type of rebirth basically is what it is you're going through but i think from what i'm seeing you're someone that's very easily triggered so you think everything is about you you could even know someone and they don't know you like for example let's say you watch my platform and you are aware of me, but I'm not aware of you. And let's say maybe you are coming to my platform repeatedly to watch. Uh, and then something comes up in the reading um, and you resonate with that. Or maybe something is going on in your life. Um, and maybe uh, since you're open, that like you're so constant on my channel, which thank you for supporting Something may come up, you know, I may get a download about you because they say, hey, this person's energy is in yours. So I may get a download, but it's not that I know you specifically. It's probably more like, oh, okay, I'm getting a dream or a vision about someone. So maybe Source wants me to put this out there. So it's more so like, hey, I got a download. This is what I got. Hopefully this will help someone. But I think you kind of take that and spin it and make it seem like it's about you personally but you gotta think you haven't talked to this person you haven't seen this person maybe you don't even have this person's contact nothing like that they don't have your contact you haven't like you do you two don't have any form of communications between each other so how are they going to be talking about you you gotta you gotta kind of rationalize things in that sense but i do think that you are in some type of relationship you're not happy in you may be going through some type of financial like uh, maybe you invested in something you were not meant to. Yeah, you invested in the wrong relationship. You were hoping that this would be like a new beginning with an empress energy you thought was in the upright, but she breadcrumbed you. She spent lying to you. What's going to, and now what? She did it because she was wanting to have this because maybe you're someone that's abundant, but now you're going to have to move on so you can have your victory and have all those opportunities and things like that you wanted. But there's some type of illusion. A group of people have been causing you, possibly even plotting on you or uh, wanting you to take some type of action to uh, lead to some type of disappointment for you. So it's like they want you to self-sabotage yourself. It could also be like they want you to destroy the person that you want to have a new beginning with. Okay. So it's that you're after someone and you're thinking that they're the ones trying to destroy you when the whole time the people you've been collaborating with are the ones that are trying to destroy you. And you're out here trying to end someone innocent that's really just doing their job. And if you resonate with it, I'm telling you, if you resonate with it, resonate with it, that means that source is telling you that there's something in your life you need to address. There's some type of trauma you need to address. There's some type of wound you need to address. There's some type of problem or something you are not seeing that that terror reader or that practitioner is seeing and they are exposing it to you so you can have that opportunity to address it but yeah so you can address it but i think you know there's a tower coming that's going to have you weighed down you could be a king of pentacles there's some type of tower coming that's going to have you weighed down and this tower has to do with you Finally accepting reality for what it is that you are in denial that the person you are with is for the streets. And we're not saying that to talk down about her. Everybody has their preferences. If she wants to be in the streets, let her be in the streets. If she wants to be with Tom, Dick and Henry, let her be that. And with Maria, Kim, Be Betty and everybody, let her be that. That's her business. But I think your thing is like, 
you feel foolish because someone misled you and you fell for it and you feel stupid because there there were many many signs in the beginning to let you know that that woman was not genuine she was not in the upright she was not authentic but you went with someone because of their beauty or someone is very good at manipulating they made you false promises you thought you had found your empress and that's why she keeps coming up as an empress she's not an empress she's showing up as an empress because that's how you are seeing her that's how she put herself out so that's how you believe her to be but you already know that that there is a tower coming and it's going to be that one relationship is ending. You are ending your commitment to this toxic union. Whether you want to view it for what it is or you want to keep pretending that it's not, at the end of the day, the universe is going to make sure you understand that you were in a toxic situation and this is why you are being free from it. When you finally accept reality for what it is, sir, don't come over here being upset with us. We're just doing our job. Okay? That's it. We're just doing our job. When you come out of this toxic cycle, you may go through a bit of a stagnant period because you need time to heal, time to balance your mind, time to focus, time to, time to realign yourself with the universe, with source, your ancestors, so that you can manifest a new beginning for you so that you can defeat whatever obstacles and things like that people are going to be trying to put in your way. Um, there's something about a queen of cups as well. I believe a sister don't got out here and martyr herself. She's about to go through some type of ending. You've had quite a few different women in the background of you that I'm not sure you are aware were collaborating against you to block your future. But the whole time, yeah, this is something that's being illuminated to you. Okay, by your ancestors that they've been sneaking you the whole time. And this is why you're going through loss. But the whole time you are applauding on a queen of pentacles that's minding their business and taking charge of their lives, staying in their lane. That you see this woman here, this man here, whoever it is, they're staying on their side of the track. But you all have been plotting on this person to take them out because you're pissed off. You're easily triggered. You think you can just fool everybody and pretend to be something you're not. And then you get pissed off when the truth is exposed about you. And uh, you think people hate you. No, sir. You can't. You can fool a million people. You can fool everybody during your lifetime. And you will meet that one person that you cannot fool. And I think because there's a woman out here that you cannot fool, they see right through you, it triggers you. And the fact that that person lives in their truth, they speak their truth and everything, you think everything they say is about you when they don't even have any type of communication or interaction with you. Or if they do, they probably aren't even aware that the messages are about you. Because sometimes with readers, even though they're doing their read, there's some type of blockage the universe will put so that they don't know who it is they're doing the reading about because there needs to be some type of veil there so that the their per, their emotions are not attached to whatever reading it is they're doing because they don't want they don't want that person spilling out hate especially if a reader has not healed from some type of experience they had with you there will be some type of veil that's place between you and that person's energy so that they don't know they're talking about you because they don't want that person applying any type of personal vendettas any type of animosity they want them to just give the reading straightforward okay so you are taking something out of context i don't know if you all have been plotting i think you you have you've been plotting on a queen of pentacles to take them down because you had some type of misconception you're under some type of illusion that a woman did something to you and the illusion was caused by the group of people that are way down and burning now. And they were being led by a queen of wands. So this could be like the queen of wands pretending to be an empress that you want people to believe is an empress. She ain't an empress. She's going to have to be practical because this offer that you are trying to give to someone else is still coming in. You've already made your decision and you're standing firm on that decision that you want to be in a traditional relationship and you're keeping that decision and making it final. Uh, so whatever offer she shouldn't come towards you with, I figure you will reject it because the truth is being exposed to you. That's if you decide to use your common sense finally. And this is going to help you, you know, think twice about the kind of people that you are aligning yourself with. Because whoever this woman is that you were aligning yourself with is the reason why you are headed for a tower. Okay. Um, 
and I know you are a pl are planning a tower for a Queen of Cups. Um, and you think that they don't know, they know exactly what it is that you are plotting and it's going to backfire. Okay. You could be someone that secretly wants to heal, or maybe you're doing the work behind the, the scenes to heal. There's something where it is that you are trying to set someone up because you are easily triggered by something a woman says or a man says. So every time they say something, you're out here fighting, feeling way down and burdened instead of going and healing. Okay. This is a queen of cups. Things will be balanced out in her life. And she's coming out as a queen of pentacles as well. So whatever it is you are applauding, just know it's going to backfire on you all immensely. There's a, whoever their queen of wands is that you're trying to have everybody believe is in the upright. There's something, there's some type of court case that's going to come up. Um, I don't know if she stole from you tried to steal from you, you may want to look into that. But there's some type of court case. There's something about her and a king of source that you need to look into. I don't know if this is like a detective, a lawyer, PI, whoever. Um, but she's out here worried about her secrets coming out and you knowing the truth, right? And when you know the truth, this is going to cause some type of tower and enable you to move on and balance things in your life and give some type of friendship to someone else, possibly a queen of pentacles. And this is going to lead to fulfillment for the both of you. And you'll be out here living in bliss and things like that. And this is going to help you put an end to this karmic chapter, karmic cycle you've been in. And it, it, it enabled the both of you to move on to karma waters, heal and live victoriously together, plan your future together, heal together, together, balance each other out. I think you see that queen of pentacles, queen of cups, the actual empress, the actual empress, you see her as someone that can help you balance or heal your or team your demon within. And I think this is something that the person you are around, they are aware of it and it bothers them. But I think you are also afraid that when you go towards the actual empress, they're going to refuse your offer because of what you are committed to. Okay. You may also even be planning to come towards an actual empress while you're still in a relationship with someone else. Don't do that. They're going to reject you. Empresses don't got time for that stuff. Okay. You'll know a true empress by the kinds of things that they in, involve themselves in. So if your partner is out here getting into menage it was casting, see wet, no, these, or uh, whatever, that ain't an empress. If they, got, if they got to pretend to be an empress, that's not an empress. But you're going to find out the truth. Someone may even be sick and they're not telling you someone has some type of mental illness, especially when it comes to stalking people with her friends. Okay? Someone has a mental illness. And maybe this is what you're not aware of as well. And you need to, I don't know, you need to talk to her, fix it, or uh, figure something out. But your wife, your girlfriend, your fiancé, whoever it is, they need help. Yeah, they need help. You've been out here trying to defeat a queen of pentacles that ain't done nothing to you all. Not a thing. But the, the universe is taking care of it. The universe is freeing someone and giving them a new beginning. And this is allowing them to defeat their enemies. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> Ooh. Whoever, there's a queen of pentacles in your energy. Now, I don't know if that's your wife, your girlfriend, or whoever, the mother of your child. She was expecting to receive some type of abundance or some type. I don't know what this woman was expecting to receive. Maybe for you to stay in a relationship with her, a karmic relationship with her, but it looks like you're not staying. You're moving on with your life. And this has her in distress because now she's going to be out here a single parent, single mother, single woman. I don't know what to tell her. There could be something where it's that she was out here celebrating someone's ending, that she has stolen something, blocked something, and it looks like the celebration is over. Maybe you're choosing to move away, move in silence. Uh, but she should have known intuitively because the Queen of Pentacles are people that are intuitively gifted. She, she should have known that the universe is going to step in and balance something out. There is also something about your resources. I don't know if your resources have been depleted and this is because of what you participated in. So you're going to have to take accountability for that. But until you do the work to heal and amend things, um, you're going to keep staying in this energy of like, okay? You're someone that's overindulging. You're someone that, uh, 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 you just, you do, you overdo things. You don't, like you you've fallen from grace. 
Like you're doing a little bit too much out here. I don't know if you got divorced and then you decided to come out here and live your best life. Kudos to you, I guess. But if you're planning to go towards someone and balance life out, you may want to get all of that out of your system and balance your life out. Take charge of your life. Grab life by the, by the horn of that bow and move on. Put an end to this karmic whatever this is you have going on like you i don't know if you got a divorce and then just went buck wild you said i got options now i can do whatever i want you're just out here giving offers to any and everybody and it's leading to disappointment and things like that i don't know who's paying to have a king of cups sticking out king of cups baby we keep warning you and you're just in listening you're just in listening we keep warning you and you're just not listening but until, sir, you take the the uh, initiative to balance something out, you're about to be in a long karmic cycle, okay? A long karmic cycle. There's something about a family being over, some type of family dynamic. I don't know if this is like a surrogate family or an immediate family. This is over. There's no balance among these friends. There's no friendship. There's nothing. There's no equal give and take because the sole purpose of them coming together was to destroy someone else. So because of that, and the fact that they were doing all of this based on a lie, because of that, this is why they are being dismantled. There's no friendship. There's no connection. There's nothing. <coughs> and now that it's separated, they are separated. Things are being balanced out. This queen of pentacles, I don't know who this is. Possibly your, I don't know, your wife, your mother, whoever, her finances, something, it, something is not looking right with it. And that's her fault. Someone over indulge in manipulating, in witchcraft. This could be the person that went to a voodoo priestess working with mermaids. And this is not the first time I've, I've seen someone go to a mermaid to do some type of work on their behalf. And something backfired. She's not doing well behind the scenes, and you, you need to check on her. I don't know what's going on in Karmic Veil, but you, you all need to calm down. Calm down with these collaborations to take people down. I'm telling you, this woman has been doing a lot of manipulations when it comes to communication, someone's growth, someone's like, you know, like you, you, you're putting in effort into something, and people keep tempering with it. You're trying to communicate with someone. People keep tempering with communication. This is something she's been doing behind the scenes consistently. And she's living in fear because all of this, everything she's invested in is going to turn to nothing. Because whoever she's tr been trying to block is still going to receive what it is that's theirs. I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. Nothing but disappointments in the choices that they made, especially when it comes to an emperor who's choosing to balance things out in his life and have this new beginning put an end. To all this karma, karmic nonsense, like this buffoonery, this is childish as heck. You, you all got to know that this is childish as heck. This is for like middle schoolers, high schoolers. And some of them don't even behave this way. You ought to be embarrassed of yourselves. So he's walking away to have a new life, which is helping him put an end to this freaking karmic cycle. Starting a new chapter. You all ought to be embarrassed of yourself. Look at you. Don't even want to walk with your head up high no more. Talking about I can't believe I participated in that. Why did I commit to that? Why did you? Now you're going through like. Because you caused someone else like. This is like the energy being returned to you. You're stuck. Can't move. Nothing. Trying to block someone from moving forward with their life. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you people? And then you got someone that's been paying so someone can have passion for them. Someone can fall in love with them. It's like, I want her to fall in love with me. No. There are certain people in the world. Everything has to be done out of free will when it comes to them. So when you're going to practitioners to manipulate their energy, it don't work that way. You got practitioners that don't even want to work with you anymore. I don't know if this Sagittarius, Aries, or, or, or Leo decided to stop paying a practitioner because something is just not going in their favor. You've wasted a lot of money trying to manipulate someone's energy and it's just never going to happen the way you think it is. 
You feel out here depleting someone's resources, income, connections, like just too much witchcraft voodoo to get someone to love you until you can be genuine with yourself and other people. Whoever energy you're trying to manipulate is always going to be a disappointment. You'll always be heartbroken because not everybody has time for the foolishness. You got to grow up at some point. Like, I think you all are used to people sugarcoating things for you, pretending with you. Nah, 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 nah. So stop going to the mermaids. Stop going, st stop bothering those deities. You're going to piss off a deity and you're going to uh, uh, end up one day in this, this predicament. Just, just done. Stop summoning these deities and, and making requests of them and you don't know who's who in the universe. I'm telling you, you don't know who's who. This is about to be someone because of voodoo. Why are you discommitted to voodoo? Someone thought they could keep a relationship or get a relationship through voodoo. That, that's not how it works. Stuff like that work on people that are low vibrational. People that don't know themselves. People that are reckless, don't have any control over their, their, their mind, their body, their soul, nothing. That stuff works on them. But someone that's in the upright, you keep doing voodoo on them, it just pisses them off and it, and, and it, it leaves them finding you repulsive. It's like every time you come around them, they're just repulsed by you and they don't know why. They're naturally repulsed by you and it's because you're doing voodoo behind the scenes to make them fall in love with you. That kind of person, you can't force their will. And it, I split the deck again and it came out on the death. Put an end to all the voodoo doing. Like you're doing love spells, all kinds of magic and stuff behind the scenes to get someone to see you in some type of light they'll never see you in. You're trying to manifest someone reaching out to you. They're not going to reach out to you. Whatever you want to say to someone, you are going to have to be the one to talk to them, to approach them. So you can do all the manipulation you want. It's not going to work. Someone may not even be thinking about you. And when you come in their energy, they all of a sudden get really upset, feel agitated because you're doing voodoo behind the scenes to get some type of, re get some type of outcome you're never going to get. This kind of stuff works on people that don't know who they are. Okay, people that are not in control of themselves, people that are like empty vessels walking about the face of the earth, people that are like self-destruct, they destroy everything in their pathway. So you can do all the magic you want on them. It'll work. It'll work. Just pray that they never wake up because when they wake up, you're in a heap of trouble trying to get, trying to bind them again in some type of love spell. You can't. Someone you're trying to do something to is too awakened. It's that like you're trying to do voodoo on like an ascended master. Because I see the temperance and the magician out here. Someone is self-mastered. Someone is an individual. They're not even part of the matrix. You are still in the matrix trying to control someone that's outside of the matrix. So you got to figure that out. You're going to have to learn how to be genuine with yourself and then with other people. You're going to have to learn how to love yourself. Because I think this has something to do with you. Internal dealings, internal traumas, things like that you're, you're refusing to, to, to address. And you're taking your anger out on other people, especially a feminine energy. You are gun ho out here trying to destroy a woman that didn't do nothing to you. Not a thing. This woman didn't do nothing to you, but you're upset maybe because they refuse an offer from you. That's because they can see. I told you the queen of pentacles, the one that's in the upright, that you all are doing all this witchcraft and voodoo around, manipulation, chaos, conflict, fear, and things like that. They see things from a spiritual standpoint before they even see it from a physical standpoint. So what they know, you don't even know yet. What they see happening, you can't even comprehend. This is why you feel so comfortable going out and paying practitioners to make something go in your favor. It's not going to go in your favor. And then you got a wife 